Hey guys, first of all, if you haven't subscribed yet, we're almost at 500,000 subscribers, so please hit that subscribe button. And this is Zebo, by the way. Michelle Williams, the acclaimed actress and four-time Academy Award nominee, isn't just a powerhouse on the big screen. She also has a flair for Brooklyn real estate. Her historic 6,500 square foot mansion in Brooklyn, New York, is now available for rent at $35,000 a month. With its eight bedrooms, six full baths, and iconic columned front porch, this stunning property is a rare find that's both grand and charming. Since moving here in 2005, Michelle has lived in some of Brooklyn's most stylish and under the radar neighborhoods. The former Dawson's Creek star was drawn to the area long before it became a spot for A-listers, carving out her own space in Brooklyn's vibrant community and she's lived in some of the most stunning homes, so let's check them out. After Dawson's Creek wrapped, Michelle Williams, who starred as Jen on the series, moved to New York City where she embarked on her acting career. In 2005, she and her then partner, the late Heath Ledger, purchased a $3.6 million townhouse in Brooklyn's Borum Hill. This marked the beginning of Michelle's love affair with Brooklyn, and the couple, along with their daughter Matilda, settled comfortably into this vibrant neighborhood. Her former 22-foot-wide corner townhouse, blending historic character with modern updates, featured a three-car garage, a rooftop deck, and more. Inside, it spanned about 4,000 square feet, including six bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms. Original elements were complemented by modern amenities like central air, heated wood floors, custom wood windows, and paneled doors. Their ground floor led to a spacious parlor with 12-foot ceilings, a fireplace, and an open concept kitchen with blue cabinets, stainless steel appliances, a walk-in pantry, and snack bar. Other features here included a cozy library with floor-to-ceiling bookshelves and a master suite that occupied an entire floor of the home. Elsewhere, the home offered a media room that opened to a small courtyard, a wine cellar, and direct access to the rooftop terrace from the kitchen via a short bridge. Michelle stayed in the townhouse after her split from Ledger in 2007 and 2014, she sold it for $8.8 .8 million, setting a record for single family homes in Brooklyn at the time. After Ledger's passing in 2008, Michelle took some time away in upstate New York, but eventually returned to Brooklyn renting 3,000 square foot loft in Red Hook. The loft was situated in a converted industrial warehouse with exposed brick and wood beams, bringing together a rustic industrial vibe with contemporary features. Most recently, Michelle Williams is renting out her historic 6,500 square foot Brooklyn mansion for a hefty $35,000 per month. She bought this 1910 Colonial Revival Estate in 2015 for $2.5 million according to records. Nicknamed the Terra of Prospect Park South, her eight bedroom, six full and three half bathroom home boasts a striking resemblance to the iconic mansion from Gone with the Wind, complete with grand fluted columns flanking a two level porch. Beautifully restored by Matisse architecture and work said design, Michelle's home now shows off original architectural features like the bay windows, columns, and porches. Located on a corner lot just two blocks from Prospect Park, this stunning property stands out with its landscaped grounds and columned exterior. Inside, the entryway leads to a formal living room with fireplace, a dining room with window seat, and a library with charming built-ins. The kitchen is equipped with radiant heated marble floors, two dishwashers, and a designer six burner range. The second level features another library, additional foyer, and access to one of the home's covered porches. The master suite here is styled like a boutique hotel, complete with a dressing room, decorative mantle, and a home office. The ensuite bath includes a private deck, a dual pedestal sink, soaking tub, and a sauna. The residence also boasts a home gym, a heated saltwater pool, landscaping with brick paths, and a two-car garage, which is a rare convenience in the city. 
As for what's assumed to be Michelle's current home, it's said that she and her husband, theater and film director Tommy Kale, who she married in 2020 and shares one child with, had purchased a townhouse in Brooklyn Heights for $10.8 million, also in 2020. This 3,000 square foot home, built in the 1820s, ranked among the priciest sales in the historic neighborhood. Since the historic home wasn't for sale on the open market, few details are known about the home. We do know the sale included a second vacant parcel of land with a gated driveway for off-street parking, a luxury amenity in Brooklyn. Brooklyn Heights is known for its charming, tree-lined streets filled with preserved and renovated brownstones that often set price records and attract notable residents like Emily Blunt and John Krasinski, Matt Damon, and Jennifer Connelly. After this video, we can see that Michelle Williams' journey through Brooklyn's real estate scene shows her unique style and deep connection to the city. From a historic Borum Hill townhouse shared with Heath Ledger to her historic mansion up for rent, her homes have been as thoughtfully chosen as her acting roles. That'll bring today's video to a close. Thanks for watching. I'm Kara. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and we'll see you in another video. Bye. We have a big announcement that's going to allow you all to get a lot closer to Hollywood. Famous Entertainment has entered into an epic new partnership with Mogul Productions, utilizing the magic of Web 3.0. Have you ever wanted to land a walk-on role in a Hollywood movie? How about a producer's credit? Red carpet events, meet and greets, and more. You can even submit your own productions to have them filmed by Hollywood executives. Don't believe me? Mogul Productions was behind the release of City of Dreams, a film promoted by Sylvester Stallone, Mike Tyson, and executive produced by Tony Robbins. If you've been waiting for your chance to get your big shot at getting in on all the action show business has to offer, we're encouraging you to check out the Mogul Productions website. A link is down below. Here are some of the current opportunities up for grabs. The Caretaker, star in the film and get taken out by lead actor Robert Bronzy. Can't Escape the Allure, producer credit on Rello Ranzano's upcoming album. There's a spot to be an extra in the new film Texas Nightmare, currently being filmed in LA. If you click into each project, you can read more details about the project, who's involved, and what exciting perks are up for grabs. We'll be bringing you new updates each week about this epic collab, so be sure to stay tuned into Famous Entertainment for more